Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the uh, monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Now, your first card here is the King of Pentacles. I see you guys very focused and determined for some of you guys on financial pursuit, uh, wanting to start your own business, perhaps expansion. For others of you taking on a new journey, uh, perhaps looking for new employment or new opportunities within the employment that you're currently in. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth energy, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Now, the obstacle here is the two of cups. So for some of you guys, I feel that um, you may still be stuck or dealing with um, being able to like release some type of X. Um, and this is currently what's blocking you. This is, if there's a feeling like you haven't progressed or there hasn't been many changes in your life, especially when it comes to love and romance, it has a lot to do because you're still emotionally invested or connected with an ex-person, ex-partner, sorry, uh, or a person that perhaps you were very emotionally invested in and things didn't work out quite as you would want. The Three of Pentacles indicates, uh, for some of you guys, it could have been dealing with the third-party energy. For others of you, it could just represent not being able to find common ground uh, with this person. So what they're saying is, for some of you guys, you guys were actually in love or emotionally invested in someone uh, where your personalities clashed uh, too much or too often. Uh, I do see you guys wanting to move on, wanting to expand onto newer things. Uh, but for you, in order for you to be able to see movement or progress, Aquarius, you got to detach yourself from the past. And this re this could uh, symbolize stop talking about the past, stop reliving the past, or stop thinking of people that perhaps were in your past. Because I see you guys almost like um, putting them on a pedestal or thinking that at that point in your life was the best time in your life. Um and what they're saying is if you continuously keep putting energy towards that, then you will be continuously put be put in situations that make you feel like it's less than desirable than what it was back in the days. Uh, why is this? Because you're continuously looking to the past. So you need to stop doing that, Aquarius. Now, the energy is currently on your mind, the Eight of Wands. You're wanting to get some type of communication, some type of movement. Um, the justice card here is, I see you guys not wanting to accept perhaps where things went wrong in regards to this past connection. Um, the justice card does symbolize the lack of balance and with the lack of balance, um, you see she has, um, she has like a band over her some type of cloth over her eyes, uh, which indicates so there is no, you know, when it comes to making decisions, uh, it's based off of what's right and what's wrong versus like giving chances to people that perhaps because you know them or because you're comfortable or you love them, whatever the situation may be. But I feel that this is like really standing out right here. And this is speaking to me directly about you not wanting to take self-responsibility for some of the actions that have unfolded or being in the position that you're in now, it's kind of like, well, they did this, they did that, but have you ever stepped back and actually looked at yourself in the mirror, Aquarius, and accepted you could have been more compassionate or you could have been uh, more emotionally like invested in the situation to the point of being thoughtful in regards to that person from your past. Um, so again, it's about taking self-responsibility. Now your next card is the three of cups. Okay. So I see three threes here. There was definitely some type of cheating, um, or, uh, you often put yourself in situations where the person that you're interested in is not available and you're very aware of that. Now I do see for you guys, um, new love coming into the horizon for you guys. And with the Hierophant, for some of you guys, this could represent, um, really like really being attracted to this person i feel that it's a new energy um and they may seem a bit eccentric a bit like out there in the sense of their personality but they're very old school 
And if commitment is something that has been an issue in the past for you, uh, I feel that this person is definitely like very old school and will be, it's like you got to take it to certain levels, you know, slowly, gradually. And I feel that this is a very good energy for you, Aquarius. But again, with the justice card, we kind of have to self-reflect to be able to look and figure out what it is that we want. I see you guys wanting something um, and then quickly changing your mind. Uh, it could be out of fear. It could be because of uncertainty, whatever the situation may be. But what they're saying here is there's a new opportunity for love. Don't screw it up. Um, so I, again, you know, I invite you guys to really put some thought into what they're saying is let go of the past. And in order to do that, I feel that you guys need to look back and analyze what went wrong in that specific connection. Um, and whatever it is that you know deep down inside your heart that you need to work on, that's something that I suggest you guys to start working on because I do see commitment for you guys, whether you guys are ready or not. And again, you don't want to mess this up because I feel that this is a very good, genuine and true connection. Now, your next card here is the Page of Pentacles. So I do see you guys, again, um, It's for some of you guys, it's taken a long time. If you guys have been single for quite a while, and I'm talking about like the past six years, I definitely do see a new connection coming in for you guys. For some of you guys, it could be uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Others of you, I see Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries type of energy. Uh, I also do see water here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, and we also have air here. So it could be anyone of any element, really. Um, but what they're saying here is, again, with the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, this is a person that has or is very connected to old values, um, uh, to that of dating and then taking it to the le next level, commitment, engagement, and then married. This is something that they're wanting. So again, um, if you're ready, for those of you guys that have been single for a while, I feel that this person is coming in right at the nick of time, right when you were about to give up on love. So again, stay positive and optimistic. I hope this give you guys some type of insight of what's to come for you guys for April. Definitely love in the air. Um, we got to go in within ourselves, though. Sometimes we have to. Sometimes we are the ones that keep us from connecting with other people on a deeper level or even like dating, you know, if you're comfortable just sitting at home and not doing nothing uh, and then you piss and moan about being single or like being bored uh, because you don't have anyone to go out with or whatnot, you got to, you know, shake it up, you know, um, changes and progress and growth doesn't come from comfortability and you need to understand that Aquarius. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.